Hi guys! Things like sushi, maki, and sashimi have been a part of Japanese culture for centuries, but have found their way into the Western culture relatively recently. So these days, almost any modern restaurant is ready to serve you that Japanese specialty. Many people love sushi so much, they can't live without them. But did it ever occur to you that eating sushi every day can be potentially dangerous and even life-threatening? As you all know, fish is the main ingredient of traditional Japanese dish. There's so many species of fish, so how would you know which ones are better for sushi cooking purposes? Well, that's easy. It's not so much about the type, it's more of a where it comes from concept. Sea fish is what you'd naturally want. It's more expensive, but it's clean, fresh, and yummy. Farmered fish, on the other hand, are being bred in captivity. And those types leave and eat and shit in very limited spaces. Farmers use antibiotics and feed the fish with god knows what. So, sea fish is the main ingredient of any kind of sushi, and under a minor thermal treatment should preserve all the nutrients. Such fresh and healthy food is one of the keys to Japanese longevity, by the way. But that's the case with Japan, because it's an island and fresh products are essential for Japanese. They catch the fish and a couple hours later it's already being served at a local restaurant. So, as you probably understand, it's a bit different for the rest of the world. People are not used to the sushi culture the way Japanese people are used to it. Fish is a very delicate product. If you don't treat it right, it gets spoiled very quickly. To get rid of harmful bacteria and parasites, fish has often been frozen, salted, and goes through all sorts of treatment. So 99% of the time you eat sushi, you can't really say it's as fresh as it gets. And tuna fish is another thing. It contains high level of mercury and metal, so it's not recommended to eat that type of sushi more often than once in three weeks. And that's not all. Soy sauce they sell in stores may be of a very poor quality. It may contain salts of heavy metals, better yet toxins. Wasabi sometimes is even worse. While it should contain a Japanese horde radish, in most cases it's just a cheap simulation with tones of spices and colorants. Did you know that if you eat sushi every day, you may very well get your iodine way out of check? And that kind of overabundance is not funny at all, because it may very well affect the thyroid gland. I mean, doctors don't recommend sushi for kids and pregnant women, that's gotta be something. So bear that in mind, guys. Generally, if you're a big sushi fan, then try and restrain yourself. Eat sushi a couple of times a week, maybe. I don't know, don't harm yourself. And at least make sure that wasabi is antibacterial. And lastly, never order sushi in places no one goes, or places you don't entirely trust. Also, order smoked or marinated fish, just to be on the safe side. Do not overeat and remember that Japanese eat small portions, and that's the way to go. I mean, who would know better than them? So, if you're watching this, I assume you guys like eating sushi. So how often do you do that? If you guys like the video and find it at least a tad bit useful, then press the like button, subscribe and hit notification bell to keep up with all the good stuff.